Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. I, um, if you've been following along, you've been following the weight loss series and we've been taking a deeper dive into what are the things that stop us from losing weight. And so if you haven't been following and you'd like to, please subscribe, first of all. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. That'll help other people find the videos. And then I'm definitely going to build on the first um, um, series that I did. Now, for those of you who are following, this is going to be old information, but there was an original series on weight loss that I did. Go back and scroll through the videos and you'll find it. And that'll give you a, a basics series to go through. But what we're doing right now is a deeper dive. And so the first, last month, all we did was focus on hunger. And so what we're going to do is focus next on finding fullness and being able to stop right where we're full. It's so hard sometimes, but it can totally be done. And we're gonna get into how, and that's gonna be the next series. But today, we're gonna do a little, what I'm gonna call an interlude video, okay? So, this is a practice that I wrote about in my blog this week, and if you all are um, not familiar, that's a journey to wholeness.com. You'll be able to see the website if you want to find it. And that's where I write a lot of the things that I'm teaching or that I'm learning or I'm growing through. But this past week, what I did in that blog is I wrote about finding a moment. And I think that a video might be a better uh, way to practice finding a moment. And so this is something real quick to do just so that you can take a moment out of your day, get grounded, get a breath, stop feeling like you're racing around. So let's practice together, okay? This is going to be your way to get a moment. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're at work, your um, kids are berserk, it's in the middle of the crazy dinner time, you're trying to feed everybody. You can take one minute, one minute most likely you could take less but and you can break this practice into pieces so that you can do one or the other or you can do the series all together but just sit down for a minute with me and practice okay one minute take a deep breath okay wherever you are get comfortable sitting in a chair at your desk or on the couch or on the floor I don't it doesn't matter cross-legged that whatever works for you just sit and I want you to feel yourself in the chair just take a moment maybe close your eyes that's what I'm doing close your eyes and feel yourself just sitting feel the sensation of your feet on the ground if you're cross-legged it's fine you can just feel the sensation of whatever parts of your body are touching the ground if you're in your chair, notice the feeling of the chair holding you up. Notice the feeling of your body in space. If your hands are open, if you feel a lot of tension anywhere in particular, if your hands are clenched or you're feeling tight in your shoulders, feel all of that. Just take a minute and notice yourself in space. Take a deep breath and feel that air go in and feel it come right out of your lungs and, and everything collapse. Take a deep breath in and let it out. That's it. Now notice how you feel in space now. Notice whether some of the tension has left your body, whether your heartbeat is a little slower, whether you're just feeling a little less rushed and busy and overwhelmed. You can do this anytime where you just notice where you are in space, come back into your body. We spend so much time up in our head, just up here all the time. Come back down into your body. Notice yourself in space, where you are, what's touching you, the noises around you, the 
the dogs barking in the background, the birds singing, the if you're in a city, the train rushing by, the whatever, street noises, all that. Just notice all that, experience it, take a few deep breaths, close your eyes, and you've just gotten your moment. All right, everybody, I'll see you soon. We'll be starting up next week with finding fullness, okay? I hope you're good. Let me know how you like this practice. Give me some comments below, and then I'll see you next week. Okay.